Now we will show the several ways to send emails from workflow. We create a new folder and there we will create a new workflow process definition. We will call it mail workflow. It will be a simple workflow with start node, mail node and end node. In the mail node we indicate the subject, content and user destination. We link the boxes Now we define the user mail, the subject and the content. When workflow executes a mail node, it does not stop there. Immediately after sending mail, the workflow continues to exit transac transaction. Now we configure deployment files. It is necessary to configure the mail server. The jbpm.xml file must be written into the JBoss home folder. Parameters can change depending on your mail server configuration. We deploy the workflow. We execute the workflow and the mail is sent. Now we will look at other ways for sending email. We add a note box. We will create a new action called mailaction.java. We create an action handler.
The difference with mail node is that we are using mail poll defined in JBoss for sending emails. We see it is necessary to add an extra library. Oh, wait. We use OpenKM class for sending email. The difference with mail node is that we are using the mail poll defined in JBoss for sending emails. We see it is necessary to add an extra library for project compilation. We can now open project properties and add the JAR file. We link the class with the node. We add the class in, de in deployment files. We deploy the workflow.